Seventy-five percent of Nobel laureates discovered their love of science in out-of-school time. It doesn't take a lot of arm twisting to get kids passionate about science when that means firing vortex cannons in a hotel ballroom. I'm Dave Mantis, and I'm Vice President of Regulatory Affairs at Cubis Pharmaceuticals. And I'm a PhD chemist, and I discovered my own love of science through my father, who was an engineer on the Lunar Module Project as part of the Apollo Space Mission. And I'm a citizen teacher at the Edwards School in Charlestown. I didn't know what to expect teaching a science apprenticeship to middle schoolers. I certainly didn't expect to be high-fiving a 12-year-old after an experiment in inertia. I didn't expect the passion these kids would bring to learning biology, chemistry, engineering, physics, and math. But that's what happens when you combine hands-on learning with in-your-face demos that burst the kids' expectations of what learning science is all about. But it isn't rocket science. That's what Citizen School is for. <laughs> this spring, 10 of us are working with Dr. Mantis to prepare for a mission with NASA. So far, we learned how to measure the distance to the moon and how to figure out how big the moon, sun, and earth are. We've also fired our rockets outside of school. I didn't expect to be doing this with Citizen Schools. When Dr. Mantis came to our school, we didn't expect to be doing some of the things he did either, like poking holes in a balloon, but they don't pop. He told us that popping a balloon with a pin was too easy, but it's kind of challenging to do with light. In the apprenticeship, we learned about lasers that scientists use to measure the distance to the moon. By the time the laser leaves Earth, bounces off the moon, enters the Earth, the beam is over a mile wide. Lasers had a lot of energy, and when they hit a back balloon, all the energy Ow. Pop, I'm Rosalisa, H. Saul from East Boston, and I'm a rocket scientist. My name is Alex. I'm 12 years old from East Boston, and I'm a rocket scientist too. Last fall, I did the rocket science apprenticeship with Dr. Mantis. We did a video conference with NASA to save astronauts that are about to get hit by a comet. The comet was a simulation, but I was really with NASA. Dr. Mantis thought about taught us about space. And one thing I learned was space is cold. Really, really cold. We use liquid nitrogen to see how, what happens to things when they're really, really cold. Like a flower, which is mostly water, like people are. We also learned that almost anything freezes when it gets cold enough, even air. The balloon deflates because the inside turns into liquid, which is 1,000 times more dense than the gas. It works the opposite way if you heat up the water. If you didn't know, liquid nitrogen is 350 degrees below zero. Cold, isn't it? Really, really cold. And cool. Really, really cool. Woo! 
Sometimes we do experiments, not so much because they're about rocket science, because they're really cool. Like what happens when something very cold meets something very warm? That's great. I'm Dave, this is Rosalisa, this is Alex, and we're exploring the mysteries of the universe. Thank you.